My question's done. Precisely because when you look at the economies in every one of your states, if you've got strong cities, and typically you've got strong suburbs, typically you've got a strong state revenue stream, it, it, you know, our economies now are built regional. Uh, and so this, this old notion of city versus suburb versus rural areas, that's all evaporating. Uh, we've got to have strong cities, and we've got to have strong rural areas, and we've got to have effective suburbs, and they've all got to be working together and thinking together about how we grow and compete in this 21st century uh, economy. So we've got some great examples here of people who've been doing this. Dave Bang, Mitch Landrew, A.C. Warden, uh, Ashley uh, Swergen, and, and, and John Lindner. Uh, they, they've all been doing outstanding work. Uh, Chris Coleman, uh, you know, St. Paul is not uh, uh, a, a SC2 pilot, but He's done some great work in terms of, and we were just talking about it when he came in, uh, I was meeting with some mayors the other day, uh, in trying to break down uh, some of the barriers uh, between agencies uh, that aren't always working together as well as they could. So uh, I just want to applaud all of you for the great work you're doing. I want you to know that this is a top priority of ours. Uh, it doesn't negate the need for more resources where we can get it, uh, but if you look at the theme of my entire administration, uh, it is not an either-or uh, approach where we say either we get reform or we get more resources. We want a both-hand approach. We want to get more resources in the communities that need them, but we also want to make sure that we're reforming our institutions uh, so that they're actually making a difference in the lives of people each and every day. I think this program is, is poised to do that. Uh, I've got some exciting news to share. Uh, 
uh, which, I mean, at least this is the kind of thing that excites me. <laughs> <laughs> Signing an executive order that's going to establish a White House Council on Strong Cities and Strong Communities. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're still learning uh, key lessons on how to make this work better. Uh, but a lot of the early successes uh, of Strong Cities uh, set a foundation for establishing replication and, and uh, best practices uh, across the board. The council will build on uh, the way that the Strong Cities has shown uh, the federal government its capacity to engage and support local communities by aligning resources and coordinating across departments and agencies. Um, and my hope is, is that by institutionalizing this, bringing this conversation together on a more regular and a more formal basis, uh, that uh, after a year or two of this, we're really going to start getting it right. Uh, and we will start seeing some takeoff in terms of uh, uh, actual applications uh, and deliverables for people. So uh, again, I want to thank all of you for doing what you do. I know that sometimes it feels like uh, you're push pushing a boulder up a hill. Um, it feels like that to me too sometimes. <laughs> But I tell you what, uh, you know, we're seeing progress. Uh, we're seeing progress in the economy, but we're also seeing progress in, uh, in your cities and in your communities, uh, inch by inch, block by block, neighborhood by neighborhood. Uh, you start seeing schools getting better. You start seeing people have more access to transportation uh, and thereby more access to jobs. You start seeing small businesses feel like they're getting serviced more effectively. You start getting uh, economies of scale as all these pieces start coming together, people start getting a little bit more optimistic uh, about the possibilities of the community. Um, you know, we're never going to get this perfect, but uh, we sure can do a, a, a much better job. Uh, and uh, and I, I want you to know that I'm going to be your partner in doing it. All right? Thank you.